we go then. Let's continue. This one is really annoying, like, to check that you've got all the right things. Because you've got Mount Kauai, fine. But then you've got Samanka Bay, Satona Island, Orang Valley, Sangyang Island. I'm only looking at the first two letters of everything, and I'm stupid. Confirmed. Right, this is seven. Slot seven. Oh, what a tosser I am. Hold on a minute. I have honestly considered making a skin that uh, is just take the take the outlines, change color, change the outlines to something, uh, and pick two good colors, black and green. There was one posted the other day that was pretty much the same sort of idea, but I literally mean just take the skeleton rather than editing anything with it, just literally pinch the skeleton. Thank you very much. I had to do something about it because I was looking at it and just driving it and thinking, this is crap. And the reason it was crap was because I had the trans flag going across the top, but then I had the really dark blue and I had the dark blue on the back and it was just a pile of colors that didn't really work. It actually worked better when I filled it with even more colours, but at least the because um, I did have the NB flag on the side and trans flag on the top. That looks pretty good because I'd filled it with blocks of colour, right? And although you could tell that the side panels worked with the side panels, but I didn't want to lose the blue because the funny thing is with. The design, so your design, the colours were chosen for me. I pinched the map A colours off of the cycling kit that I showed you. But that blue is very similar to this blue, which is very similar to the blue that Rain's car is. Which means that all the cars have like a dark blue on them. And dark blue is my favourite colour, so I was like, sick, that'll do. I did actually look around the car I made for you earlier. It's weird because when I, I looked, the reason I looked around it was because I saw the PNG I'd made that I like edited the car out of, but I just made a big old square of the colours originally. And that square of colours, I looked at it and I went, shit, I've put way too much green in this. Turns out, cut all the green out of it just by pure happy coincidence and it doesn't look like there's too much green like the top of the car is quite green because there's a massive green one in the middle of it but then the front no green on the bonnet a little bit of green on the back but there's also quite a there's a big bit of blue the sides aren't too overpoweringly green it like just so happens that each one overall that picture has too much green in it but in each section other than the top where one section is fine the main colour is not green, or it's at least 50-50. And the background blue does uh, kind of stick itself up. And 
Which is weird because the way that the map a kit originally, it is very blue, but because you can actually see the background and the background is just there, rather than uh, yeah. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I've just seen the word gint. I don't know why. That's quite funny. I'm on the genie page and they have a, a C, C programming? Yes, editor.c. I think it's literally the uh, editor, but C has a gint. What's a gint? It's the difference between, I assume it's some sort of integer. It's a genie integer. The, the amount of text editors there are does sort of go to show that you can't have too much of a good thing because you'd have thought if everybody used the best like options are good because if everybody used the best programming editor you would assume that that programming editor would get insanely good because you've got programmers who know how to do it making it and it's like so you've got programmers who know how to fix the bugs and know how to report bugs working with tool and they're gonna you know support it and considering most text editors and code editors are open source except for uh, basically the ones that you're forced to use by Microsoft and Apple they're the only ones that aren't open source the only major ones at least I do love how many places are going to say, because I remember it from when I first swapped to Linux, alternatives to Visual Studio uh, on Linux. And the fact is, the alternatives to Visual Studio are not Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is not a suitable alternative if you want that super hardcore IDE. What you need is code blocks if you were doing C++, or some other, you know, there's a few C++ ones. Mono develop if you're doing C sharp. A mental health check if you're doing C. Another mental health check if you were doing Java with Visual Studio. Because, my god. Eclipse was quite good. I might have actually... Eclipse. Java. I was sneaking suspicion. What's Eclipse written in? Is Eclipse open source? Why is Eclipse not open source? The Eclipse public license. Yes, code. Where's your code? Why are you a fucking programming language? Not programming language. Programming tool that is open source that doesn't link your fucking source. Link your goddamn source! What's the point if you're not going to actually link the goddamn source? I don't even think they... What? Do they not have the source 
for Eclipse itself, is that not open source? Free and open source specifically says, where's your source? God's sake. That's dumb. Is it only the SDK? What the fuck? No, I don't don't like that. I really, really don't like that. If you're gonna go, oh, we're open source and all of our stuff's open source. You've even got your own goddamn license because you that got your heads that far up your asses, and probably because you fucked up in previous life by not slapping a GPL on it. Um, <laughs> did you have to rewrite the GPL because you didn't put it under the GPL at the start? Well done. Um, I know! You know that Linus Torvalds uh, quote? Talk is cheap, show me the code. Honestly, he wasn't talking about that, but he fucking should have been. Where's the code to Eclipse? Do you know what? The only thing I wanted to know was, is Eclipse written in Java? Specifically on the basis of it being an interesting thing of, of some IDEs. Some IDEs aren't written... Um, aren't written in the same language which always makes me like in, in the same language that they use which always makes me think it's a that's a bit weird because i'd rather have the person who's writing the ide if they're updating it battling with the problems of the ide so that they fix all the problems so that they really know because it's a bit weird like You've got to be a C. It, it narrows down your. Say you're Eclipse and it's probably written in C. I'll be honest with you. There's very few of their public repositories that are Java. Um, so say you're written in C. And. You're. Uh, hey, Al. Thank you for your daily play, Defrag. You're limiting the number of developers who give a shit about updating it by a lot there. Because they need to be a Java developer, otherwise they're not going to give a shit about a Java IDE. But they also need to be a C++ developer, because otherwise they're going to go, that's broken, I'll go fix it. Oh, it's written in C++. Oh well then. You know, Genie's written in C, yeah. Probably most people who write Genie aren't writing in C. Uh, you, sorry, use Genie aren't writing in C. But it supports C, and I would say it probably supports C extremely well. In fact, I know it supports C extremely well. Oh, it's got a GCC in it. It's right there at the bottom. You know, you, you want the people who can develop your thing to develop your thing and to use your thing. It's like Monodevelop is written in C++. You know why it's written in C++? Because <laughs> C++ is more fucking portable. C is a good language to understand, is my take on it. You should be able to read C, potentially not write C, 
but potentially write a basic bit of C and understand how the compiler, the C compiler works using no compiler flags, you know, well, obviously you're going to have to use compiler flags, but not using super fancy compiler flags, not using anything fancy with the compiler, trying not to import anything, just writing C, standard C library. I will also say JavaScript is a fantastic programming language, ruined by the fact that nobody uses the standard JavaScript library, to the point where I didn't even know you could use JavaScript to make a web app without installing uh, a framework. When I tried to learn JavaScript, I was trying to learn Vue and Honey and React and all of this bollocks. And then eventually somebody said to me, you know, you can just like get that. If you give that button in HTML an ID, you can get that button with the ID and detect when it's clicked and just write some JavaScript under that. Y you, you what? Everything you could probably ever want to do in JavaScript can be done without a framework. Yeah, they're libraries, but they're 99% of people aren't doing anything that you need the libraries for. And they're also kind of... The other thing is that they're entire web development situations. Like, you have to make the entire website now in React. You can't just tap some HTML into the thing. Which means that you can't have a web page in your entire setup. You can't have a, web, a single web page that has... Um, That's, that's just pure HTML and CSS. Like, one page needs JavaScript, but you're going to use a framework. Okay. Your entire website is now framework. Yeah, don't look at modern web dev stuff. And don't look at modern app dev stuff either, because it's the same shit. It's just packaging a web dev thing. It's just packaging a website in an app. Yeah, Eclipse just doesn't have... Is Eclipse IDE open source? The Eclipse SDK is a. It is the second, the second most popular IDE for Java development. And until twenty six, what's the most popular? Where's the? IntelliJ. Fair enough. Fair enough. Also not open source. Uh, I suppose Java developers are much more likely to put up with only half of their stuff being open source because they're also happy to be fisted by Microsoft uh, a long time ago. Java sucks because of Microsoft. Hot hot takes on this Indo hot programming takes on this Indonesia uh, run eh? Fucking embrace extend extinguish. There was a hypothetical question on Reddit uh, a few weeks ago. It was, if one of these companies had to take over, every, had to become the monopoly on tech things out of Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, uh, or Twitter, or Amazon, Apple, yeah, the big five, basically. Um, which one would you choose? And I was like, Mm, mm. They're, they're all going to be dreadful if they take over because no matter which one is quote unquote the best right now if they have a monopoly they're just going to do whatever the fuck they like but 
Microsoft because I reckon it's a 50% chance that if they're a monopoly they try to embrace extend extinguish themselves same with Google if the if they were if they were a complete monopoly they would have to buy themselves out of certain contracts only to shut that shut down those projects later so they just shut everything down but Microsoft because they'd embrace extend extinguish themselves allowing a gap in the market whereas uh, yeah The problem with Apple is that if Apple becomes uh, supreme overlords of everything, they will lock down so that you can't install anything else in the future if they fail. Everything will just be bricked after. Because I kind of took it as a... In theory, they are the supreme monopoly of everything. But at least with Microsoft, things probably can still be installed but that Microsoft are more likely to forget that people will want to install their own software and let you <laughs> by mistake by forgetting that they're a monopoly and that actually there could be something else this question also came from someone who clearly didn't know what Linux is uh, and the fact that even if they were a monopoly that just means that the other companies have died and you know, Linux will still exist, so I'll do it. You're just three ads away from installing Firefox. Fucking hell, I was watching a YouTube video the other day, and in the middle of it, you hear the classic ba ding dong Microsoft notification, which was definitely dubbed in afterwards because it wasn't the correct thing, and no professional YouTuber. Of, of the level of this this YouTube with an actual editor and all this. Um, they're doing what I'm doing right now, which is recording game audio only. I'm specifically targeting the Art of Rally window, my microphone, and the VLC window for the sound. So they probably edited that in afterwards. But anyway, they said it popped up and said... Um, Oh, what was the, I can't remember the exact wording, but basically, improve your browsing experience by installing Bing. Microsoft's uh, troubleshooter will now consider that if you're not using Bing, that your computer may have an issue, apparently. So that's good. Um, that your web browser may, be, may have an issue, and it may be broken if, uh, if it's not using Bing. I would say, personally, that's fixed it. That would be like going up to somebody and saying, What I've done, I've filled your bike tyre with grass, so you can never have a puncture again. You just permanently have a puncture. I have no idea where that idea of filling your tyre with grass came from. I'm pretty sure it was made up by somebody at GCN and they perpetuated it at this point because I have not heard it from anybody who doesn't reference the GCN video. The only time I think it might work is if you had a really skinny tyre and left the inner tube in. You'd also just sacrifice the tyre. For the proved village. Oh, apparently it is written in uh, Java and C. So the Eclipse ID is written in, in Java. Mm. 
but it's not Java enough apparently because it's uh, its architecture is x86 only so I don't know if you'd be able to install it on a Raspberry Pi on ARM which is always good Ah, uh, I have just seen why it's not open source. The original author is IBM. That's why. Because IBM never open sourced anything properly in their initial existence. Never made anything that could be open sourced after when they wanted to open source it. So it all gets scapegoated out to what can they open source? What do they have the rights to? And that's why everything's under... Yeah, that makes sense as to why there's an Eclipse public license that's the same as the GPL. Except probably a bit crapper. Because IBM hates the GPL. Like, entirely hates it, I'm pretty sure. Partially because it's got the preamble, but you know. Casual in second place. Right.
Good loop, shall we? Four AM couldn't sleep. Just decided to uh, decided to come second. What was that? Group A. Shite. Stupid, you know that, but what have you done now? Oh, what a name. Just seeing the name of the main maintainer of uh, Genie. Columban Wendling. That's a good name. There's a Matthew Brush and I really hope he goes by Matt. Okay, don't read silly names. Well, not silly names. Normal names. Normal names to people who aren't uh, aren't British. I just generally believe that everybody has a silly name if you say it right as well. In the right context, everyone's name is, is silly. Like Matthew Brush? Fine. Matt Brush? Hey, oh. <laughs> Laughing at silly open source names. Yeah. Lex Trotman. That's a str. That's a strong contender for um, Supreme Overlord of the world, to be honest. Your new Supreme Commander, Lex Trotman.
Okay, any one of those crashes didn't happen, that would have been sub. Right, nice one. Hey, no one, uh, no one DNF'd. Thank you very much. Cheers, Turbo.